First of all, you don't talk that fast. I don't think fast talking is anything bad. I'm not really bothered by it. Uh, I have a lot of friends that talk fast, but I see it as being enthusiastic about something and sharing your excitement for it. So yeah, doesn't bother me. You don't have to correct it, I don't care. Um, hello Christian, today is Thursday, February 14th, but we'll get to that later. Um, you had a couple questions uh, regarding the scared videos, as well as like confidence in general, what people think of other people. They're, I don't know what they're doing. You have siblings, you understand. Um, first topic of conversation. First topic of conversation, uh, the I'm scared videos. I really, I think exactly enjoy them, but I'm definitely glad that so many of them are made by YouTubers that I really look up to. I think it's important for us to remember that these people that you know we see videos of and who get so many views and who make such good quality stuff, I know that they seem like they're really, really famous and sort of far away people who have their life together and they know what they're doing. And I'm sure that some of them do, but some of them don't. And it's really sort of comforting to me to remember that I'm not the only one who doesn't know what I'm doing in everything, but that's okay. And while they weren't exactly the happiest videos, and I know that they weren't exactly out of all sorts of happy thoughts and positive stuff, I'm really glad that they were made, and I'm really glad that I was able to watch them. And this is a thank you to all of the YouTubers, especially the ones that I really look up to, who made that happen. and who made me feel a lot more comfortable with myself and where I'm going and what I'm going to do. Not even in the far future, in the near future. I mean, next year, college, the next few years, I have no idea what I'm doing. That is the honest to God truth. I haven't even narrowed it down to a general topic of college major or or anything, but I am really relieved to understand that I'm not alone, and that's really important to me. I filmed this five times! I'm not, no, no thank you, I'm not doing this again, I don't care. Um, other thing, uh, you talked about what other people think about us as individuals, confidence issues, Confidence, I think, is really, really important to people. I think that a lot of people don't have enough of it, myself included. Um, I can't I can't even take a compliment. It's really bad. Someone will say, oh, you know, I like your shirt. I'll be like, oh, well, it's it's okay, you know. And then I'll start talking gibberish about how I, I hadn't really looked for the shirt and, you know, it wasn't my idea to, to pick it out or or it's not my fault or... I just can't bring myself to take responsibility for something, even if it's positive. Actually, incredibly, if it's positive. Usually, I'm the one who'd be like, uh, yeah, I uh, forgot to do that, or that's something that I did wrong. But I can't take compliments. It's really confusing. And I don't know if that's just my nature, or if it's a human trait that some people outgrow, and some people don't. I know it's something that I need to work on, and I know it's something that I hope to work on. But I'd be curious to see if people have the same problem, because it's really frustrating to me. I have a hard time with it, I really do. So, if you want to share your thoughts on that, that'd be really cool. Um, what? Can you even... I don't know. Um, I can't even read my own handwriting. Hold on, I'd better be able to edit this out. Ugh. Okay. 
Um, go away. We will. I don't know what I. Yeah, I don't know what I meant on that. Um, I really hope I can edit this out. I'm just being awkward. Just general awkwardness. I'm sorry. So yeah, um, I wonder how you fared the storm. We obviously, well I don't know if obviously, but we had a lot of snow. Like 30 inches. Uh, good old Nemo. But, I also want to talk about Valentine's Day. Oh, this video's really long. <sighs> I have the attention span of a, a butterfly. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about Valentine's Day briefly. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Valentine's Day, either I hate it or I love it. And I'm going to put myself somewhere in the middle because if you have someone that you really love and, you know, your significant other can spend the day with you and it's really great and, you know, it's just a fun holiday for you and it's really nice and romantic, then good. By all means, please have your nice romantic fun day. Um, just have a good time. I'll leave you guys in peace. You know, do whatever. Good for you. Um, yeah, I don't see any sort of uh, couples. Although I do sometimes. In, in my head. I'm not that rude. Maybe I'm a little bit rude, but in my head. Um, so, single people, myself included, please just chill out. Because I know that you're all grumpy about not having anybody to share the day with. But make do. It's one day. Jeez. Chill out. I'm sure you can have your single awareness day some other time. Um, I just say, I don't know if you're spending the day some special event. But my advice to people who are annoyed with couples is just don't be around them. Like, I know that's hard if you have to go to school or whatever, but just don't really overthink it. I mean, you see couples pretty much everywhere, and that's not a bad thing. They're happy. Don't bother them. On the other side, I kind of don't like Valentine's Day. It's just an annoying holiday. I mean, there's so much pink and red and really streamers and crazy stuff, and but, you know, this is my indecisive personality right here. I'm sure I'll figure it out someday. I hope you're going to have a good weekend, and I will see you. Oh, I almost forgot. I am very, very excited. Uh, did you see the, I believe it was a live blog, the live blog or something of John Green and the Yeti talking to the president regarding their new baby that is coming on the way, either Eleanor or Alice, both of which I think are phenomenal names, and I am so excited for them. I think that it's going to be great, and I'm hoping that their nerd baby will be very, very happy, and the family will be very, very happy, and that just everyone in general is very happy. I'm in a good mood right now. I think it's the chocolate and yes, I am wearing a Mythbusters t-shirt. I know you were wondering. Alright, have a good night. I will see you on Sunday.